Hey, this weekend, the robots are taking over the seaport. Now, well, it's an event, and it's bringing together tech companies and students, as WBC's Levin Reed shows us. On Saturday, the wow factor is going to be off the chart. It's Robo Boston's eighth annual robot block party, and it's happening in the seaport. It's open to the public. People bring their kids, students. There's universities showcasing what they're working on. There's industry showcasing what they're working on. The innovation in the robotic world is amazing. This is Jenny, and she's a special companion. Hey, Jenny. Want a treat? So seniors with dementia, uh, frequently they're very limited in their mobility, mm -hmm. and so she's designed to lay comfortably on somebody's lap. We learned that through emotional attachment, we can provide a health benefit for the seniors with dementia. You have many different types of robotic mobility devices. So currently millions of Americans are forced to rely on home care workers or family members and use outdated equipment mm -hmm. to transfer from a bed to a chair. And this device essentially replaces a caregiver and the patient hoist. Also, no robot block party would be complete without your fair share of drones. Revolut specializes in doing inspections in hard to reach facilities. So sure. power plants, oil refineries, chemical factories, we're still sending a human in a dark, dirty environment. Yep. We send our robots to go do that inspection, keep them out of harm's way. And Clear Robotics has a drone they call the Dronut, and it specializes in confined spaces. <laughs> It's really about getting a drone in a sensor package anywhere that's too difficult, dangerous, or expensive for a user. So like you said, mines, tunnels. All of these will be a part of the block party parade. That's something all the little ones love to take in. I think it's something physical that they can see and touch and, and, um, and just understand a little bit better because it's not theory. In the Seaport at Mass Robotics, I'm Levin Reed, WBZ News.